All right, welcome back to another episode of One Take, the official podcast of the One New Zealand Warriors and brought to you as always by the TAB New Zealand. It's the home of punting here in New Zealand. So if you like a flutter on all the rugby league action, then make sure you download their app or check out the website www.tab.co.nz to get yourself in the game. And speaking of uh, punters, I'm sure today's guests made a few happy on the weekend first try scorer in that <laughs> game against the Knights. But Jacko Ford, welcome to the potty, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Glad to be here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to take things back a little because obviously a lot of the fans haven't quite heard your story. So I just wanted to touch on how you came to the Warriors and how that move came about, bro. Were you approached by the club? Like what enticed you to join the Warriors and make the move across the ditch? Went to the open market sort of thing. Um, there wasn't much happening, to be honest. Um, probably Parramatta, Canberra, like sort of bottom offers sort of thing. But then um had a meeting with um, Webby actually so when yeah. he was still at Penrith there and he said oh like my manager gave me a ring and said um go have a chat with him met him at a pub it was a bit of a bit you of got Kurt well no that was the and chop combo bit all over again there was actually like um <laughs> I didn't actually know it was on and he was there waiting for me and um got a call from manager he goes are you there and I went what do you mean like you forgot to tell me sort of thing. <laughs> oh, so stitch up. had to start I was cooking dinner at the time had to finish just leave the thing there left the for the roommate that was coming back in 10 minutes or so. I was like, I'm off, I need to go. <laughs> I've got this, like, well, wanted to speak to the Warriors, like, coach. Yeah. And, um, yeah, ever since I seen him at the pub there, I think we just got along, hey, like, because he knew more than, I don't know, he knew more than I knew about my game, to be honest, like, going up there, like, and just showed me um, how much he cared, like, straight away. Like, he was telling me all these little things about my game, and I was thinking, like... Jesus, I, my coach at, at the moment doesn't even know that about me. Like, I'm yeah. trying to figure out why I'm not playing well and stuff. And he had more answers than probably, yeah. So, yeah, ever since that, I thought, I want to I wanna, I wanna go there. So, made the, made the move across and I've been loving it. So, yeah. It's never easy to move clubs, let alone countries. Did you have any uh, contact with some of the boys over here? Like, did you have any pre-existing relationships with any of the players? Or did you just kind of <laughs> no. fly in solo and trust in Webby like the whole nation does at the moment? <laughs> no, nah, there was a few boys that were there, but they were leaving at the time. So I knew Jack Murchie. He's, like, from where I'm from, Jerangong. So mm. he, I've played a bit of 18s with him. But, um, and Yui Aiken, I used to... Dragons with him, but yeah, no one when I was moving over didn't know anyone, so I was pretty much starting fresh, to be honest. From being out of favour at one club to what coming over to New Zealand and playing almost every game and big minutes in every game, you must have been pretty chuffed with how 2023 turned out for you. Yeah, that was great. I um I didn't really know what to expect, but I just knew coming over here could be a massive footy focus for me. Um, but that's probably the environment I was in. So mm. coming over here, I knew I just wanted to, you know, knuckle down on footy, fresh start, no distractions, and just sort of just give it my crack, you know, because I don't know, I was sort of not going to be that, you know, first grade player. Mm. Like that's what the aspect I probably had on myself leaving there. So I just thought, like, you know, I want to, I want to have a crack and try and be that first grade player week in week out. And rocking up day one, first impressions of the club, was it quite different to what you've been used to over in Aussie? Um, definitely with that first pre-season I had, it was very, very cold and rainy. <laughs> yeah. <It> was floods. <laughs> oh, yeah, rainy. that's was, right. <laughs> yeah, we turned it on. The weather was, yeah, the weather wasn't the greatest. But um, no, I come, in, I come in a bit earlier than most of the boys. So I was there with the younger boys mm. that first pre-season. Um, no, but fair. I, and yeah. uh, being a one-club nation, uh, fans are pretty passionate. I'm sure you've noticed that. Uh, when was kind of that first glimpse where you thought, geez, playing at Mount Smart in front of a sold-out house, very vocal. Did you have a moment where you're like, this is a pretty good setup here? Yeah, I, I guess running out every every week when it's, you know, the, I like when it's a nice dark game. They've got the blue lights, the flames, the lights, the crowd. The crowd's unreal. Like, it's mm. a, pretty much a sellout every week over here. It's unreal. Yeah. Second and none, I reckon, the crowd. And, um, geez, they do get vocal, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Jack, sorry to interject, Benny. I just wanted to ask you, because you touched on it before, when you speak about Jerangong, like, that's obviously a, a bit of a remote part that I don't know too much about. What was like growing up there, mate? Because I know you're a footy nut and um, your, your family's obviously footy nuts, but... Yeah. What's what's Jerangong like, mate? Sum it up for me, because I know nothing about Majority. Yeah, to be fair, I'd never heard of it. And I didn't even know so. that there's a couple of you that have come out of there, obviously. <laughs> yeah, you talk there's about. a few of us. So we've got Tyron, Ruben, 
um, Jack Murchie, mm. the Simsers are out of there. Um, yeah, you know, so I grew up there. When I played a bit of first grade footy, I got to play with my brother. He used to be the captain at the time, so it was good to play first grade with him. That's, you know, there's no better feeling than that, running out with your brother, at, you know, the local <laughs> team. So Mick Cronin was the coach at the time too, so Sick. good coach. Um, just a massive footy town, to be honest. Everyone gets to the pub, Mick Cronin's pub after the games and just... Is it his pub? Yeah, he's That's got a pub elite. there. So <laughs> <laughs> That's elite. There's good vibes around that, um, around the town of Jerangong and a yeah, very big footy um, country. So you, you go from like that, which sounds like a bit of a small sort of community and you end up, like we call it a big city, you end up in Auckland. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bro, smoke. you've been one and, and Benny can attest to this, like, a lot of the Australian boys, they come here and they buy into the culture. Mm. Yeah. I know I give you a bit of shit about it, but you yeah. genuinely have brought right in. What is it about that, man? Like, why have you taken to it so much? Like, is it just... I don't know. I've always sort of loved, um, like, other people's cultures. Like, I remember, uh, yeah, back in Jerangong, there was mm. a training camp the F Fijian team come to. And, you know, sure. they did their songs and stuff after the thing. And, like, as a young kid, like, that just... I love that. So, like, Mad. ever since, like... Those. I've always liked, you know, the Fijian songs and stuff like that. And over here, the culture's pretty big. Yeah, I, I love it. I get around it. Nah, he definitely does. It's just, I remember last year when we went down to Napier, the boys had a um, yeah, the, a wire they were singing yeah. on the bus. And, you know, a few of the boys, that, that can be uncomfortable. Everyone yeah. bought into it, but... Mate, Jacko was singing it from his... Uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, guitar, yeah, singing it with his good. gut. Him yeah. and Culture Darryl, captain, yeah. eh? Yeah, no, he loved it. Raider. Anyway, as you were, Benny. Yeah, I was going to say last year was pretty successful as a team and for you individually. Did it kind of exceed your expectations? I'm sure moving across, you never know what to expect, but 80-minute footballer playing in a prelim final, locking down that starting second row spot, it was pretty unreal. Yeah, definitely like I exceeded expectations. Um you know, you think where the team was probably last year or the t like the year before that and then where we got to was pretty good. Like, it was unreal. So um, hopefully we can just keep improving and improving each week. Um, you can definitely see that. Mm -hmm. Like, you got the boys, the leaders there at the club, they're all gunning for, like, they all talk about winning a premiership. So yeah. we're just all, you know, <laughs> trying to, they say, row on the walker in the same direction. Mm -hmm. I guess we're all trying to, I'm trying to go there too. So, um yeah, you know, you got yeah, Shawnee, Knox, all of them. Yeah, you talk about, you know, if we want to be a premiership winning team, let's, we've got to start working. So, yeah. Yeah, too, now. And you mentioned that first preseason was pretty tough weather wise, anyway. But surely you must be feeling a little more comfortable now. You've had a good New Zealand summer. You've had a taste yeah. of it. You know, all the boys and yeah. you're pretty established. So, no, starting like, to feel at home? Yeah, 100% feeling at home. Um, yeah, just sp spending time playing golf and stuff been good um a lot of the golf courses were closed last year in the, yeah. in the wet <laughs> yeah no nah, i've been loving it now um getting to know all the beaches all the cafes and stuff mm. so yeah settling right in well i see a lot of the boys up at tariti and whatnot have you been yeah. getting out to the flash ones too like what yeah. do you go like as a golfer i'm not too bad not as good as wado and, mm. yeah. and walks and that but um Gun. i hold my own yeah. I think so. I'm okay, not too bad. relax, relax. Yeah, I saw Jacko pick up the mic. <laughs> well, he's got only something to say here. Yeah. Nine, so I'm all right. Oh, that's go. actually pretty I was going to say, he's going to be humble, but he does have a decent handicap. On the, um, I, I'm going to get back to the golf, mate, because i got some golf questions. Yeah. But on that preseason, Webby spoke about last year. I know you were kind of, I mean, the reason you didn't, we didn't do any of this long form sit downs because you were focused on footy last year. He spoke about that preseason glowingly mm -hmm. about you in terms of just an effort. You know, you turned up like respectfully. You weren't the, biggest net profile signing yeah, that the club's yeah. ever had but he always spoke about Jacko winning that preseason like did you feel throughout that very soggy wet preseason that you were making strides or what was your mentality going to that bro because you didn't turn up with all the wraps in the world but you turned up early and by all accounts absolutely killed it so mm. yeah I sort of loved that training last year hey like mm. um like going into it you know it was all fundamentals all stuff I pretty much needed like I just needed the reps and all the stuff I probably never had sort of thing. Bit of a reset like, for you? Yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, I had the, it was tough in terms of like the conditioning and stuff, but like with the footy and with the defensive systems and stuff and how many reps you got mm -hmm. at sort of, you know, double defending and your 2v1s and stuff like that, I think that's exactly what I sort of needed as a player. So, um, yeah, credit to like the coaching staffs and the whole crew there that like they pretty much, I feel like they nailed that for me. No, that was awesome. I was just wanted to touch on it because, like, everyone always hears about, oh, they've had the best preseason yeah. ever and all this. But the narrative out of last year was Webby was like, I, you need a, I'm telling you, this is the bloke who's been 
who's been killing it. So there we go. I don't like to rap him. That was just my nah, that, was, that was a great rap though. <laughs> so well done. And it's yeah. interesting because speaking right. about Webby, all the boys come on here and say that he kind of fills them with a com confidence that helps them take their game to another level. It sounds like he's done pretty similar with you. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, um, as I say, like leaving the um, Dragons there, I didn't have much confidence at the time, but um, he's installed that in me. Um, yeah, I've full like Webby's been great for me. I think for my game. Twenty twenty four rolls around, and you're probably one of the first names on the team sheet now. Two from four to start the year. Kind of, how would you sum up the first month of footy? It's been tough. Like teams are rocking up here, looking to really take it to the Warriors, aren't they? Yeah, hundred percent. Like those first four games, they've been all you know down to the wire. They've been like bash up games. Body's mm. definitely feeling it. You know, start of the year you feel it a bit more, and those games have been pretty um, intense. But um, I feel like we've we've gone all right for the start of the season. There's plenty to improve on, but um, yeah, I feel like it's a bit of a solid start for us. So. Hopefully we can get, keep that roll on now and get a few more wins. But, um, yeah. Have you noticed a bit of a mindset? Like I, the phrase I hear a lot is we've gone from being the hunter to the hunted. Is that kind of the way you guys feel amongst the camp as well? Yeah, we've talked about that. Um, the expectations sort of on us now, they've changed. Um, you know, going from like a bottom team to now probably expected to be in the top four and um, knowing that teams are going to come after us. But, yeah. Um, we probably look forward to that, you know. We want teams to come at us. If we're going to win the premiership, you got to, you got to beat those teams. And um, mm. I guess we're all looking forward to that, and we're excited for that. Teams come after us, you know. You want to beat, be versing the good teams. We don't want to have like, you know, we don't want easy weeks. So we want all the teams coming after us. And um, yeah, we're probably going to come after them too. So yeah. Yes. Love that. I saw, you, I yeah. saw you pick up the mic there. I was like, here he goes. No, I, I had a bit of a, I guess it's a somber one, but I guess, mate, you, you, like Benny mentioned, you established yourself on that left edge and like you are, I know you, you get a bit embarrassed, but you are one of the first names that goes down these days, mate. But uh, your mate, Lukey, yeah. obviously, um, yeah. heartbreaking on over the weekend, um, another injury, bro. What, what was that like in the moment? And um, have you spoke to him since at all? Yeah, I know that's shocking to hear. Like after, especially last year with that hemi and stuff. Like, um, yeah. for him to go to, I don't know how many weeks that is now, but mm. he's just had the operation and stuff. Haven't had the chance to speak to him yet, but um, I'm sure I'll flick him a message soon. But like, yeah, mm. heart goes out to him. Hey, he's he was killing it there. He was looking real good. You know, he's he's flying and um, yeah, I know he'll be back. He's he's always working hard in the gym there, so I'm sure he'll be back. Bigger and better. Six or seven kilos, kilos, he reckons, in the yeah. gym he's put on. So <laughs> he's going to have to work a bit more now. More, a GST on that, I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> about, about six and a half <laughs> GST. Um, Two litres of water. Yeah. Tamidi, Chanel, I mean, um, even the great Benny Farr, hat-trick on the weekend. Mm -hmm. But we got some decent depth here in the Haas, bro. So when you start to look at um, not just your game, but that left edge, a guy like Tamidi comes in, bro, mm -hmm. how does it change? Does it change? Uh, how does it kind of – how does your game change at all, mate? Um, I don't think whoever's my half – my game doesn't change too much, to be mm. honest. Um, I know whoever comes in, they're going to do their job like yeah. to their standard. They're all, you know, the depth this year is unbelievable, mm. I reckon. Um, you know, if one of the forwards go out, you've got like a like Jazzy or a Bunty, like they're, they're definitely doing their role. Like yeah. I feel like our depth is like unreal this year. So, um, mm. yeah, so whoever gets in that half, I don't feel like my role changes too much. And, um, yeah, I... Can't wait to get out there, whoever it is, and on that left edge again. And yeah, it's a pretty handy left edge yeah, with uh, <laughs> one Roger to have us a yeah. as well, bro. Right? 200 games it's for him this Roger. week. But what's it been like playing alongside him? Obviously, not a player you, you'd played with before, probably someone you didn't know much, but he's a bit of a cult hero here in New Zealand. Yeah. Has it been cool teaming up with Rog and just seeing him go about his work? Yeah, it's unreal to have Rog <laughs> on the team after that. You know, even looking at that carry he had last week where any step three blokes and bump one off. Yeah, it's, that was wild. It gets the team going. And mm. um, Roger's professional luck. Like, he's a very professional player. You know, you see him in the video room with his iPad and stuff and he's always writing, jotting stuff down and he's always there working hardest in the gym. And um, he was there at the start of the year in preseason, pretty much running everyone ragged. So, <laughs> like, yeah, he's a very professional player and um, it's great to have him in the team. Milestone games are always special for the player. Do you guys treat them a little differently as well? Like, does it add a bit more motivation knowing it's his 200? 100%. If you can't get up for, you know, Rogers 200, I don't know. Like, you're probably not a, a footy player. Like, this yeah. is what you, you know, milestones are pretty big for people. And um, you try and knuckle down for him, I guess. Like, knowing it's his 200th. 
it's a pretty big achievement for him and his family. And um, yeah, can't wait for this week. Touched on before in the intro, dotted down for two tries. So I think that makes you tied as the uh, leading try scorer <laughs> for this season. So no way. Hope, yeah. hopefully, I think so. Well, right? yeah, I, um, Dell's Dell's got two. Yeah, You've Adam's got, got two. Adam's got two. So you're right. Luke, you met with two, Ooh. so you're yeah. tied. I hope you're using that in the changing room. Bit of bragging <laughs> rights. I think it was a short ball off Shawnee who was playing a. Uh, both yeah. sides and, and put you under but what's it like scoring in front of like a packed south stand bro because every time you watch i feel like the south stand always has the most hissing and passionate <laughs> yeah. fans so yeah. scoring getting up looking to the yeah, crowd must be pretty the cool the was, yeah the, whatever, the spider was sorry, yeah the spider the was, was. <laughs> yeah, he but, does um, have his own section the yeah was, he'll, he'll claim that yeah. for sure that's actually pretty good, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, um, there we go. That's free marketing, Jacko. Yeah, yeah, huge. You're in the wrong job, <laughs> huge. mate. That's good. No, I don't know how I scored that one. I think Shawnee just gave me the ball, and I, mm. I don't know what, like, I don't know. I just ended up beating the half back, and next minute I was in. So uh, it was a bit of a shock to me, to be honest. Like, I didn't expect it to be sort of that easy. But, mm. yeah, I guess that's how it is when you're around those quality players. You know, you've got mm. Adden and that leading up for you. you got to, they've got to respect them, and, um, yeah, out, out wider becomes bigger spaces. I touched on before that you're known for 80 minutes, hard worker, always leading effort plays and things like that. Did you have anything you really wanted to focus on coming into this season? Because you run great lines and things like that, but were there parts of your game where you thought you could work on for this year? Um, I think just tidying up bits and pieces of my game. You know, um, errors, uh, penalties, just sort of being real disciplined, I guess, was main focus and sort of just switching switching on um you know 80 minutes it's a fair while being on the field and like you know how many reps you get sort of thing like people running on your inside shoulders mm. just making sure you're just always switched on you know what you're doing sort of thing and just tidying up all that thing not doing like the little thing marker systems and stuff just sort of trying to stay switched on for the full 80 minutes and not you know letting someone just blast your inside shoulder off just because you've you know you've lacked off a bit so yeah. i guess Sort of, yeah, my errors, pen, like giving away penalties and, yeah, just sort of saying switch on for the full 80 minutes is where I'm trying to focus a bit more on. On to South this weekend, and that's always a good challenge, heading over to Sydney. Apparently the weather's meant to be pretty nasty as well. <laughs> he's been through a bit of that as yeah. he's been carrying on about his we're pre-season. Used, we're yeah. used to it now. We're used yeah. to it. Nah. <laughs> Obviously, I think I, we're dry trackers, so yeah. we've yeah. done the best in wet weather. So mm. we'll see well, how I think we go. Last year when we played South here, it was – Bucketing oh, down as well, yeah. eh? And uh, roosters as well. Was yeah, that roosters yeah. was bad. There was yeah. a few of them just yeah. absolutely bucketing down. <laughs> but then down Sharks there. was bucketing down and uh, that was a decent win over there. So, so Saturday yeah. Arvo, 5 p.m. Could be worse. That was worse, a very eh? decent yeah. win, that one. That, that was, was a very decent yeah, win. That was Sporting moment of the year there, Jack. Sure. That was yeah. a great <laughs> one. <laughs> Uh, a couple of players ruled out with injury, but we welcome back Chan, so I think was one of our best last year. Does that kind of give you guys some confidence as well, having him back in the one jersey? Yeah, 100%. You know, there's a few injuries, and then you've got the likes of, yeah, Nuck coming back and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, Nuck's a big player for us. He's always talking out the back there, um, bringing us energy with his carries. You know, he's probably going to have 30 carries this week. So, um, yeah, he's, he's big to have in the team. For sure. Yeah, no, a couple of producer questions from me here, mate. Nice, uh, first, me. first one here is a football go. question. <laughs> here we then, go. I've, then I've got a couple of curly ones for you. But nah, um, I just want to talk about capes, bro, because um, despite the cape wire, which is a genius marketing yeah. move, there you go, Jacko. Using we'll, that. We'll give you a kickback yeah. for that one. Um, what's it like having a, a veteran come in, mate? Because like, like Benny said, you solidified that, that side last year and made it your own, and, and Marata was doing his thing on the other edge. A guy like Capes comes in, who I'm sure you've watched plenty of, Grown up, and I mean, yeah. you know, he's not that old. Shouldn't say that, but um, established first grader, bro. What have you kind of learned off him, or what does he do day to day that you you can pick up on his game? Yeah, he's very professional. Um, he's mm. got his little way. He thinks about. I think he, like, he, you can tell he's a footy player. You know, he's mm. got all these little ways that he thinks he can do better. Like, well, you know, like tries yeah. to do better, and he's always trying to find some way around doing better. And he's a, uh, you know, he's a great player. He always turns pretty much nothing into something. Like you see him roll out a tackle or like. Yeah, he's Somehow got a bit of just, uh, yeah. freakiness in him, mate. You just like give him the ball early, yeah. and stuff. Like he comes the, up with something on the yeah. weekend. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Looked he, like he was tackled like four times. Yeah, so that's what I mean. Like he, people talk about him being this kind of straight up fundamental, which he is absolutely. But yeah, he's got a bit of razzle in him. Kate. He does. He does. <laughs> he's got a bit of everything. So um, <laughs> yeah, whatever I can learn off him, I will. I've sort of gone under his wing, try to learn bits and pieces off him already. So yeah. we'll see how much I can learn off him at the end of the year. And just uh, lastly from me, bro, before Benny kind of um, puts a bow on this thing, mate, like away from footy, I'm always interested in what the boys do. I know you mentioned you're a keen golfer, um, but day off, it is, it's a sunny day in New Zealand. What do you get up to, bro? What do you like to do? 
Oh, cruise. Bit of everything, eh? <laughs> yeah. Cruise. I don't know if the body saw. I'll come in and have a sauna and an icy. Mm. Um, yeah, I go through stages of just whatever I'm feeling. Bit of PlayStation. Been trying to learn maybe a little bit of guitar here and there. Here just we go. Got a guitar. Yes. Useless at it. But um, I don't know. Even t sometimes trying to read a bit. Mm. We've been doing a bit of puzzles now with the, the girlfriend. So. Oh, stuff like that, that. wholesome wholesome, wholesome stuff, stuff yeah. i don't know just bits and pieces of anything and yeah. everything i guess he's a diverse yeah. human yeah golf golf is definitely yeah. my favorite thing to do um yeah golf yeah love that go across the road to that Remy Road golf driving range chipping so. apart trying trying to get the game better so <laughs> yeah trying to take on wado and the That's lab the, eh? well, everyone's chasing the ghost yeah, everyone's yeah. trying to get everyone's, even walks at yeah. the same thing he goes I play as much as I can just so I can catch Wade. I think it burns us all when Wade is pumping them down the middle all the time. No one's beat him ever. So Dodgy yeah, elbow and all. Yeah. <laughs> Rumours the younger bro would beat him. Well, I've I've heard up. Have you played with Talon yet? His younger brother? No, I haven't. I've seen him. He's some, nice, apparently. Yeah, I've heard him. They've We've got plans. Uh, this is a little uh, one take exclusive. Things. We've got plans to go out with Wade and his brother, uh, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, and we'll film a little series. So yeah, no, we'll he's see. Better than Wade. So yeah. Well, uh, everyone is until the cameras come out, Jacko. Yeah. So we'll see how he goes on yeah, the pressure. Yeah. Wade will get in his head, you reckon? Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Pressure. <laughs> and the pressure piles on. Yeah. Yeah, fair. And in terms of just to wrap things up, obviously you mentioned before that the focus is on a premiership, but kind of the perfect outcome for you this year, just keep trucking on, play some good footy, and uh, hopefully a parade through the country come the end of the year. <laughs> hopefully it'll be nice, I reckon, a little little ring on the finger with yeah. the premiership ring. Um, but yeah, folks for me, I don't know, just keep improving week in, week out, um, staying healthy, I guess, doing all the little things right. And as I said, like my focus is trying to nail down all those sort of negatives in my game and, mm. you know, trying to turn up all the things I do positive with the game as well. You know, So, yeah, I think that's a – just keep trying to get better and better each week. And, um, yeah, I think that's my focus. Well, cheers for jumping on, bro. It's been cool to hear a little more from you. All the sure, best for this weekend. And uh, hopefully another try to sit alone, top of the try scorer list. <laughs> hopefully, yeah. hopefully. Absolute scenes. Right. Cheers, bro. Cheers, Ciao, Jacko.